Hi, I'm Liz from Clean and Organised and today I'm going to show you what is in my carry-on travel bag. My husband and I are heading off tomorrow for our dream um, trip to Europe and we're going to be away for six whole weeks. So I wanted to show you what I've decided to pack in my bag and um, hopefully you enjoy. This is the bag that I ended up choosing as my carry-on bag. It is PackSafe brand and what I like about it is that it has anti-slash straps, it's got um, extra webbing inside to pre um, prevent theft, it's got extra locking systems and it's, got, it's a good size for me. Um, it's got lots and lots of pockets um, inside as you can see here so it's able to fit a lot of my belongings. Let's have a look at what I've actually put inside for my travels. Okay, so I open it up and the first thing that I see is my sunglasses. I can't go anywhere without my sunglasses, especially on a traveling tour. So that is the first thing I've taken. I also have in here a hat. So I've got that um, ready to go. It's a nice small folding one. My mother-in-law actually made this one for me and um, what I like about it is that it can um, fold down to a quite a small size and fit nice and compactly in my bag. I'm also carrying um, what looks like stockings, but these are actually um, travel, like the travel stockings um, that help with the circulation in your leg. I actually get pins and needles quite often. So because I'm going for a very long flight, I wanted to make sure that I had something to help keep my circulation going. So um, to prevent blood clots and things like that. But if you, um, you should always um, ask your doctor to, um, for more information on that if you're traveling. But I like these, I've tried to get them on before, like I've got them on, they're a pain to get on, but they're actually not too bad comfort wise once they're on, they're just a bit tricky. In here, I also have a little um, pencil case, but what I like about this, I'm actually leaving it empty. And I hope to um, wear, uh, put some extra change or um, if I want to put something in, store something in here at a pinch, um, I'm just keeping it in my bag. I like it because it can fold up to quite a small size and they um, unwrap quite easily. So I'm liking this and um, hopefully be useful. Okay, what else I've got in here? I've got um, travel wallets, so um, pretty self-explanatory. You don't know where you're going somewhere, journey or things like that. Wipe your hands at a pinch. Um, I also have a little beanie because I do feel the cold and while we are going to um, a climate that is in summer at the moment it is a bit cooler at night than what I actually experience in winter here in Australia so I'm a bit of a softy so that's my backup plan. I have um, pocket tissues I've actually got some more in my suitcase so I can swap them out as I need. Um, I have just a plastic bag um, in case something gets wet or I need to store something or buy something, just um, something handy to have and it's very lightweight. <laughs> I have mints as well, so um, breath um, on the plane, something to suck on, that's really good and handy. What else I have? Uh, hand sanitizer, especially we are going actually traveling on a bus tour and I think it would be um, just prudent to have that even eat on the plane as well you know places are quite journey. I have my phone so um, we're actually we don't um, we're going to try and use Skype to keep in contact so I plan to have the international roaming off most of the time like all the time. Okay, I also have um, these little wrist bracelets thing. I, I'm not, they're anti-nausea bracelets. I don't know the exact, um, whether they actually work or not, but the, the idea is that you put them here 
and you put them on your um, wrist and it's supposed to, the little button here helps get on the pressure point. So I'm using those and um, hopefully that they will, they will help. I used them on a cruise once and I found once I started wearing them regularly, they helped a lot. I have a notebook and pen, so um, just for handy if I need to write anything down or to help with translations or things like that, so that's staying in my bag. I also have um, a bigger one of these um, zip um, zipper bags for um, our medicine. So I have um, a few prescriptions that need to come with me. I also have um, things like band-aids. I have a letter from my doctor talking about what medicine I'm on. And um, yeah, so that's just staying in there. I've labeled it with a label maker, making it nice and easy and compact and um, ready to go. In here, I think this is the last, the last thing, and I have my um, Norwex cloths. Now I've talked about that um, in my what's in my purse video, and um, so that's um, just keeps things sterilised. I can use a bit of water. Also good to dry your hands or things like that. So they they have got um, got in there. So that's what I plan on taking in there. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've forgotten two things. I have it, I've forgotten that I have my sunscreen. I am a very pale person and I definitely, definitely need um, sunscreen to apply it every day. And I have a little mini torch, which I've put fresh batteries in. Um, so I can find my way at night. So what do you put in your travel, travel bag? Have I forgotten anything? And um, just to let you know, we will be away for a while, so I won't be putting up any videos, but I hope I will be back and I will be putting up more videos after. So until next time, bye.